Ohm's law says that the current flowing in the metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across its end. Okay, so it means that the uh, current is directly proportional to the uh, potential difference. But there is a there is a requirement. The requirement is that the physical conditions such as the temperature must be constant. Why? Because if the temperature is not the same, uh, the resistance is not the same. Then the uh, the currents, the, the how fast the charge flow will be different. Uh. So Ohm's law says that current is directly proportional to potential difference. If we write this in equations, I equals to sorry Ki Ki equals to V. Uh, you should have learned this in mathematics, uh, okay? If we have this uh, proportional, uh, proportionals, okay? If we write in equations, uh, we must multiply one of the variable by a constant k, by the constant k. Yeah? So it's directly proportional, but writing in equations, uh, ki equals to v, uh, or v equals to ki, okay? Or v equals to ki. And uh, later on, Okay, we will discuss that we define this K as a resistance. We define K as a resistance. Eh? So therefore, the equation will become V equals to IR. This is V equals to IK or KI, right? Okay, but later on, we will learn uh, resistance. Eh? We define K as a resistance. The formula become V equals to IR. K is the constant. Okay, yes, K is a constant. Uh, so... That is the relationship between the current and potential difference. Higher potential difference, higher current, and they are directly proportional. And this is given by Ohm's law. But Ohm's law has a requirement. Eh? The physical conditions must be constant. Okay? And uh, mathematically, we write I proportional to V. And uh, if we change this to equations then we write ki equals to v yeah? because from proportional we change to equation we must multiply by a constant v equals to ki later on we defined we, we define k as the resistance so the formula will become v equals to ir so v equals to ir is the uh, equations derived from ohm's law this is the equation derived from ohm's law so Ohm's law discussed the relationship between current and potential difference, and this is the equations that we get. Initially, uh, uh, Ohm's uh, is a scientist. Okay, he do this by using a metal, metallic conductor. But later on, we found that uh, in the aqueous solution, so, so we get the same result. So then, uh, not necessarily it must be in the metallic conductor. Okay, but not in all conductor this law can be applied. Eh? In some conductor, this law cannot be applied. Uh, in metallic conductor, then it's like this, okay? But in some non-metallic conductor, like a diode, uh, uh, you will get different result. So this one do not apply to all conductor, but not limited to metallic conductor, actually. But in aqueous solution, also, we get the same result. So let's see this example, okay? What's the current flow through uh, an uh, 800 ohms toaster when it is operating at 240 volt? Okay. So uh, first of all, list down the information. The resistance equal to eight hundred ohm, and then uh, the potential difference two hundred forty volt, and they want us to find the current I. Okay, so from here then we know, oh we can use the formula V equals to I R right. Okay, so V two four zero I we don't know R is uh, eight hundred. Okay, so I equal to 0 0.3 ampere very easy right this formula v equals to ir is the most important equations or the formula in this topic we are going to use it maybe for 1000 times almost uh, every calculations uh, it involves this even though you do not memorize it okay but later on you are going to remember that so usually I do not ask my student to memorize this because you're going to use it, use it, use it, use it for 100 times, 1,000 times. Uh, automatically, you will remember this. Uh. But uh, but you need to know, this is the equations derived derived from Ohm's law. Ohmic conductor. It must be Ohmic conductor because uh, 
only ohmic conductors uh, then is directly proportional uh. so conductor that obeys ohm's law is said to be a ohmic conductor okay examples it can be metal it can be a uh, copper sulfate solutions okay it's aqueous solutions uh. so not necessarily must be metal uh, but um, all metals uh, are ohmic conductors okay so if you draw the graph then you will get something like this uh. potential difference against current or currents against potential difference then you get a straight line passes through the origin uh, shows that they are directly proportional so if you draw the graph okay you get a straight line uh, then that is ohmic conductor you let the current pass through the conductor okay and then you measure the potential difference and the current you get a straight line like this passes through the origin and then it's ohmic conductor do the experiment then you get something like this okay it's not a straight line passes through the origin it's a curve like this it's a curve like this or it's a straight line but does it does not pass through the origins and uh, then for this they do not obey ohm's law okay the current is not directly proportional to the potential difference okay it can occur to uh, some uh, some of the conductors uh, for example this can, this one can occur to a uh, diode okay this one's diode eh? so uh, those conductor that do not obey ohm's law uh, they are called non ohmic conductor so for example uh, semi semiconductor diode vacuum tube eh? so they are non ohmic conductor so there are two types of conductor ohmic conductor which obeys ohm's law the current is directly proportional to the potential difference or the non ohmic conductor uh, they do not obey ohm's law uh, the current does not directly proportional to the potential difference and if you draw the graph uh, there are not the straight line passes through the origins